Hey guys, I'm Caleb with Kid Ambient Arcade and we're gonna deconstruct Lemonade Stand production wise. So here we go. All right, uh, so the basis of this song is pretty much ukulele. So we've got two ukulele tracks going. got like actually literally children screaming in the background in some of these parts because I made this while I was in a garage at my cousin's house and they have four children so there you go fun fact we got all of our drums and stuff That's the basis of our drum. which uh, I took a sample from cinematics uh, one of their uh, Uzi packs um, and it's pretty awesome. So that's kind of the, I just kind of chopped it up a little bit to fit what I needed and then added my kicks and my snares. Yeah, so the way this whole song started actually is we were on a trip to Georgia and my sister had this note in her phone and it just said, I want to go back to my lemonade stand. And that's kind of how the whole song started. I said, stop right there. Busted out the ukulele and then we went to town. I started writing it in the, in the RV. It took three years to finish, but... Now it's done, and this is what we have. So um, we have the ukulele, we have the, the bass kicks and snares and loops, drums, loops. The, literally, that's pretty much the whole song. It's not a very complicated song. Uh, it's pretty simple. I do have some guitar loops that are recorded. Really like those, it's nice and clean. Um, I recorded on a Tyler amp with, I think it was a, my Telecaster. Um, let's see what else we got. Okay, so it's a while before the the base um, the eight oh eights come in. Let's my my project is so disorganized. Let's see where we can even find our. Let's see. Wanna go back to my limit? Any expectations? I don't think that I can. I just wanna keep it simple at my limit stand. Oh. Yeah, our 808s don't even come in until like a minute into the song, which is crazy, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know how to write songs, but this is a song that I've written, so <laughs> I like it, and I, I think it turned out cool. Um, we've got this little lead line thing that I made out of, I don't know, I took a random sample of like a, actually it was a stock sample uh, in Logic, one of their uh, steel drums, and I, I just bounced that file and then made it. Uh, made it into something a little bit different and threw it in the sampler. Um, I've got these things called Chopem, which is like a, like a pad thing in the background. And then I also have another thing from Cinematics. It's called a, I don't even know what this is, a Servita Tone 5, whatever that is, but it sounds cool. And it just kind of adds in the background there. No, no, no. I've got these little hi-hat uh, delay things going. For some reason, I decided that that was a good idea. Uh... Yeah, vocals are, are the takes of like a billion takes because I was really, this is not all of them. This is. I literally took so many takes because, and I don't even know if I still got the best ones there, but that's what we had with the time that we had. So, ka -chow. Yeah, those are some older takes. Gosh, I put those in a folder. It was just rough. I'm sure they were fine, but I was just super partial. Um, Big brain thoughts got me lost. My mind's been blowing fuses and I don't have good excuses. I know I'm not crazy. I know I sound lazy, but everything just seems so less than amazing. I guess I'm just craving some. They provided me with buttloads of anxiety. I'm always warring for my peace. This reality, it's more sour than sweet. Uh, I've got two 808 channels, which uh, towards the end of the song, I just wanted something beefier. So I threw on another 808, but I threw some like overdrive plug-in on it, which is, I don't know if that's good or bad, but kind of distorts it a little bit. Uh, so um, pretty much 
a lot of plugins that I'm using are either stock or Waves plugins, which are gorgeous. I just got a new pack with Waves stuff in it, and so I'm learning how to use all that. The CLA, I still don't really know how to use most of this. But let's see, this is what's on my vocal channel. Melodyne, Waves, Channel EQ, um, and two compressors, and then a bunch of buses with like a bunch of different like delays and reverbs and stuff which i don't know if i i don't even know i want to go back to my lemonade stand the very first verse has nothing on it except as far as uh delays or reverbs um and then once i kick into the rest of all this stuff it goes hmm well I'm gonna go back to my lemonade stand because honestly you don't have any other good plans yeah so pretty much start to finish this whole song took like three years to complete uh, there was the chorus was written pretty f fast. Um, it all pretty much was written on ukulele. Um, it started off in the garage that I was telling you about at my cousin's house. So I started recording ukulele there, and I have those actual takes in this song. Um, a lot of it was written in the RV on our vacation with my brother and sister and family. We did it all pretty much in that garage and in this room. Uh, so we did it all by ourselves, and then. Um, had a friend, his name is Nate Combs, he mastered it for us, did a phenomenal job. Uh, the song pretty much just talks about wanting simple things, and I, I don't know, it's just kind of like, everything's super complicated, and sometimes you just want to go back to something understandable. Everything, there's so much, such a crazy pace in life, and so, back to your lemonade stand when you're a kid, you know, super simple, and uh, that's kind of the whole basis of the song there's more i'm sure but right now that's all i got for you <laughs> all right that's the deconstructive luminates in if you needed to know thanks for tuning in see you next time